Hey guys, so today I just want to do a quick little video. Um, first, the uh, information about uh, the Android version of Super Mario Run. Uh, so, Nintendo has now officially put up a page where you can pre register uh, for, for the game news uh, when it's going to be available for Android. So, I will leave a link in the description to that. Um, so, if you don't know, um, Nintendo has uh, released this. Little Mario game on uh, on iOS and it looks pretty awesome. But I'm also going to talk about the bad things with it. But uh, let's try this out. So I'm just going to tap on pre-register. I'm just going to test this zoom here. Does it take a long time to zoom in? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm going to tap on that. As you see, Mario, what happens? Okay. Oh nice, it says on register. Okay, great. So now I should be able to get the latest news when it's going to be available um, for Android. Okay, so the, the reason why it kind of sucks on iOS is, uh, first of all, I heard that, I mean, it is free to download, as far as I've understood it, but at like three levels in or so, it costs $10 to unlock the full game. First of all, that pricing range is horrible because most games right now that get released cost like $2 maybe, maybe $1 sometimes, uh, but they're kind of raising the prices, but $10, that's a bit overkill for a phone game, especially when it's like a running game, even when it's Mario. The other thing that kind of sucks with this game, uh, which is available here on iOS, is when I try to open up here, Look at this, this is hilarious. So it looks like it's launching up here. And then you're gonna see this very, very funny thing. Wait for it. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says. Basically it says, try again after finding an area with a better connection. Seriously, you need internet, you need an internet connection to play this game. Why is that so funny? I mean, a lot of games need the internet, but the funny thing with this game is that it's kind of like an offline game, like a single player game. Maybe it have a multiplayer feature, but I don't think so. Uh, it kind of looked like it was, you know, used a single player game. But seriously, like a running game that needs an internet connection, how are you going to play the game when you're on an airplane? You know, seriously. Uh, or just like when you are in the woods, like a lot of people live in the forest, a lot of people don't live in the city, a lot of people don't have an internet connection, like how are they going to be able to play the game? Uh, it's really, it's really weird if you always need an internet connection, even the people that have an internet connection, what are they going to do when the internet connection disappears? Sometimes it disappears two seconds. Am I not going to be able to play the game for two seconds? Maybe, yeah, maybe that, that's how it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, that's the two things that kind of sucks with the iOS version. Probably the Android version, probably it's going to cost um, about the same, like 10 euros, 10 dollars, something. And probably it's going to need an internet connection as well. So it kind of sucks because the game looks pretty nice. I mean, when you look at the graphics and all that, I gotta say it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty nice. I did a video on it for iOS. Uh, you might want to check that out. But yeah, quick video, just talking a little bit about that. Hopefully you enjoyed. Now you at least know that it's gonna come for Android as well. And you kind of know why it kind of sucks for iOS at the moment. You may not want to get it. Um, and yeah, if you do download the so-called free version, uh, it's kind of like a demo. I mean, three levels from what I saw in the comment section, three levels, three three levels for free, and then you gotta pay for it uh, to a lot of the full game. So that's